straight from the soul with it. So I was listening to ESPN LA Radio with Keyshawn Johnson, Travis Rogers, and LZ, and they were reacting to some comment that Jeff Van Gundy made over the weekend as the Lakers lost to the Boston Celtics, stating that the Los Angeles Lakers should possibly explore a trade for LeBron James and that everything should be on the table to get this team better. Soon as the audio finished playing, bruh, Keyshawn Johnson stated that Jeff Van Gundy certainly won't be the Lakers coach next season after he made those comments. Travis Travis Rogers agreed with Keyshawn and says, you can definitely take Van Gundy off that list. Travis says he agrees with Mark Jackson telling Van Gundy, what are you saying? Like, what are you saying? Were you talking crazy? The Lakers are not going to go get LeBron James, then have one bad season, then turn around and then trade him for what? LZ responded by saying that when you cover live events that you have to come up with different angles and conversations because eventually you get tired of just saying this team sucks and, and just saying the same thing over and over again. Keyshawn Johnson was like, it sound good because the one year experiment didn't work but it was never a one year deal and the Lakers front office was looking at the next year, the next year and the year after that. And why would the Lakers trade one guy that can still play to do what? He says the Lakers still need multiple players to come to LA and play. Travis Rogers then played devil's advocate and said the Lakers could possibly trade LeBron because it may not get no better with LeBron anyway. So Keyshawn responded to Travis by saying, so you just going to push everything off for five more years. So Travis Rogers was like, no, he's actually accelerating the timeline because it may take longer anyway. So basically trading LeBron may not be a bad idea. So that's when LZ explained how that's incompetent and that if the Lakers traded LeBron after one bad season, it would be perceived by the public as a panic move. So here's LZ exact quote. He says, if you move heaven and earth in your first year to accommodate for LeBron and then you flip him, when you got hired, you said this was a three to four year plan. All right, this is season one of the plan. If you try to flip him, you look like you're panicking and nobody wants to go to a panicky organization. That's just trading for the sake of trading. So if you guys would like to hear the full audio, the link is in the description box, but mm. Mm -mm. Look how far we have come, people. We went from LeBron is going to carry us to the Western Conference Finals. Now, don't get me wrong. I at least stated that the Lakers would finish anywhere from a 6th to an 8th seed or at least make the playoffs. But now I just seen that since the Lakers couldn't get nobody, so Magic and Rob Palenka picked up that old phone that they used back in the day where you had to turn the numbers in a circle to make a call. And they went all the way to the G League and signed old Andre Ingram, bro, what is going on here, people? What is going on? SMH, I'm shaking my head right now, bro. Now, should the Lakers trade LeBron James? Yes. But will they? No. Because win or lose, LeBron James is a marketing machine. All he got to do is cheese. Crack a smile, and he's going to get high views. He does have views, insane numbers. From Twitter beefing with President Donald Trump. To beefing with Laura Ingram. Laura Ingram telling LeBron James, shut up and dribble. What she actually should have told him is to shut up and play some defense. But LeBron is a walking headline and ESPN's marketing asset. So the Lakers got LeBron James for jersey sales, views, tickets, and attracting the brainwashed fans who believe he is in a conversation with Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, which is why they have Lonzo Ball. They are must-see TV, but the main issue is he isn't making the team better, not playing defense, and he's not getting any blame. Nobody wants to play with him. He's not making the players around him better either. I think the Lakers should explore a trade for LeBron, and honestly, I don't think no team wants him unless it's one of the worst teams in the NBA, but even still, they won't make the playoffs even if he moves to the east Keyshawn Johnson says well certainly Van Gundy won't be the Lakers next coach but Van Gundy probably don't even want to come near the Lakers anyway and what did I tell y'all in my last video LeBron James four years with the Lakers is starting to look a lot like Kobe's last year with the Lakers now just like Jeff Van Gundy and other people stated that the Lakers should trade LeBron James look at what I found here people what do you know Bleacher Report has an article years ago back in 2013, I believe, stating that the Lakers should trade Kobe Bryant. And it kind of remind me of DMX on Never Die Alone, bruh. You know what DMX said, bruh? Play the audio, man. He says, Deja Vu. 
all over again but i mean ain't nobody about to die right now but listen here people the media is being biased and they're praising and protecting lebron for the wrong that he's doing but they criticized kobe and gave him the most blame and the worst media coverage in america when he did the same exact things that lebron did in kobe last stages they said kobe wasn't playing defense they was just criticizing kobe for not playing defense but they praising lebron james i think the lakers should look at the mistakes that they made with kobe Bryant and try not to go down that road again but I don't think none of that matters to the Lakers right now. now I don't think championships matter right now I don't think they care about championship aspirations which is why the story of Andre Ingram came into play last season and the story of you know, he never made it to the NBA a 40 year old because just think use logic here people how many players that are in the G League right now that the Lakers could have handpicked that are probably 10 times better than Andre Ingram that now Never got the recognition that can ball, probably can shoot better than Andre Ingram, better handles, plays better defense, etc. But they never got called up. And why is that? Because Andre Ingram is a love story. You can sell this to the public for ratings, for a distraction when you are losing. It's called... <sighs> smoke and mirrors people smoke and mirrors you know it was all for views it was all for marketing ratings but i don't think none of the top free agents want to play with lebron other than anthony davis and andre ingram <laughs> I think the Lakers' best chance of getting Klay Thompson is keeping Luke Walton. People saying Jimmy Butler, but I don't think Jimmy Butler wants to play with LeBron either. But I'm starting to think that the Bus family is just about chasing the views, the numbers, the jersey sales, and the ratings.